All right. Hello, everybody. And this is my my uh, my circuit that I have here. That I told you I will make it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, uh, for the entire drawing, uh, I I was imagining how I will catch everything. How I'll, how how I will integrate or catch the the lid the button that little pad that little pad that is there or that one and uh, uh, here i imagined i will put some plastic all around to integrate the the board the green board to be inside like a like a box and uh, this is the plan uh that is real now <laughs> i worked one fucking day long and um, i had to drip i had to melt the plastic all around until i i uh, until it worked <laughs> it's very very fragile the the um, the plastic is very fragile is not hard than hardened plastic is pretty i don't know how to explain it in words i know in my language how to say it but uh, uh it's very breakable that's the the very good word to describe extremely fragile and breakable it will crack extremely easily it's um it's it's, it's uh, reused plastic is what i used here the white plastic all right so that's enough about the plastic is looking awesome i really like it and check it out the other side do you remember that uh, i told you about the <laughs> the resistor pack compare it with my fingers if it's so compare those wires, uh, actually this is the wires, I have them here, uh, the 017, 025, 012, I think I used uh, one or two wires of 012, but uh, 025 I didn't use uh, uh, at all, uh, mostly like 90% I use 017 uh, millimeters is the metric is that's uh, actually let me show you how thick this wire is like this thick and uh, this is what you are seeing here all those wires if it's fucking come on it's fucking with me okay let's let's look at um, uh -huh, the camera Okay, so I hope it's this it now is pretty clear. So this is the button. The black thing here is the button, and uh, here where my finger is uh, is the button, uh, the lid, and um, those are the wires for each. You see how it is the lid there. If I'm turning back, and also the the button, and uh, that metal pad there, and uh, uh, all these wires, uh, I made a connector, um, this connector, and um, I've already programmed uh, this peak microcontroller. I, I I've already programmed. And uh, and it's working uh, with a cast. Uh, I didn't program it specifically. I uh, I used uh, I used an already made program just to test things. But I wanted to show you how it it's looking so far. And uh, yeah, let's let's go to the programmer. And show you exactly <laughs> how it's looking, uh, how it's working. Uh, this is also my first 
um, CMD uh, pick microcontroller. I never, uh, I never uh, used a CMD uh, pick microcontroller. This is the very first one. Uh, I only used uh, this uh, Deep Eight or <laughs> Dual in package. Uh, the bigger uh, chips probably like everybody else out there and uh, it was a challenge uh, to uh, it was a very big challenge to deal with uh, this CMDs for comparison to see how big this uh, dual uh, in place dual, uh, dual in line uh, or deep, uh, deep eight is is very very big. Actually, let me take it out from here if I can. Yeah, I can. So this is how it's how big is that one, comparative with the the little semi that that I have there. So it's uh, it's um it's my first semi like I said, uh, and. Uh, yeah, it worked from, from one try and I managed to link everything, I managed to hack everything <laughs> without my prototyping board. Uh, this is the prototyping board, testing board, demo board is called actually, it's called demo board, the, the official name of it, from microchip, this is also from microchip. And it was extremely good and handy for what I had to learn and to do with it. And uh, yeah, uh, this is this is what I wanted to add about uh, this uh, chip that I use here and this circuit and this entire project. <laughs> it was full of surprises and uh, challenges that I had to overcome. Yeah, that's it for this uh, little detail. Okay, so this is uh, connected already to the device, so the programming device. And if I'm pressing and try to believe me, I know you cannot see it. Now I press the button and nothing happens. Now, I, I know you cannot understand from what I'm doing there, or you cannot hear it, but you can see the LED is not doing anything. And, uh, and this is the programmer, and this is uh, some code, very simple code. And uh, if I'm going and uh, write, I already did this test and it works. <laughs> and now, if I'm pressing the button, come on, come on, <laughs> it's not working, eh? Bravo! But it worked before, now it doesn't the hell? Uh, okay, it's not working now. <laughs> Let me make it work. Uh, let's see if I'm cutting the power from the device. For some reason it doesn't like to work. Motherfucker. What the fuck? Right. I think now. Now it changed the color differently. Yeah, yes. So now, you see, if I'm pressing the button, that little button, 
the little and is doing something weird is doing something weird but is doing something exactly when I'm pressing the button because not all the wires are uh, are correctly where are you? Um, not all the wires are correctly linked and I mean uh, they are correctly linked but uh, they are not <laughs> I don't uh, um, let's see here I don't send the proper uh, commands to the proper pins pretty much that's what I'm saying and uh, some um, if I'm powering only this device uh -huh. yeah uh, it's having a problem running the this these two programs in the same time you see now it's blue but uh, like it's pressed Yes. I think this should do it. No? Doesn't? It says there is busy. Why the fuck are you busy? Yeah, something wrong. Okay, so uh, I should. Hmm. How about it's saying invalid value? Huh? Uh, let's. Uh, let's uh, Okay. Something is very weird. Huh. Yeah, that's uh, the problem with the two programs uh, running in the same time. Uh, I'm not sure. All right, and now I finally made the test code which is awesome and just to prove it uh, when I'm pressing the button uh, this should m m be the white color <laughs> but is a bit cyan is white plus cyan uh, color uh, for uh, every anybody that uh, wants to to see the schematic again very quickly so where are you that's the red pin green blue and the common plus which is a bit very weird and very stupid but is uh, working for what i need all right so this is the the code for uh, uh pick microchip uh pick ensembler it's called uh, MASP, as you can see there. MP, ASM, ASM, it means assembler. And microchip, probably P, I don't know. Anyway, so, <laughs> so uh, you can stop and read if you want. I think it's clear now. And this is the... Uh, the code, the entire code. I tested each of those uh, lines and it means exactly what I'm showing there. And uh, for each uh, pressing of the button, let, let's uh, test it live with you here. Uh, let's make it uh, red. Okay, so let's uh, build it. Just it says uh, build succeed there, and so let's program it to the pick and press the bring the target McLaren to the And now, when I am pressing the button, come on, if I can press it. Because it's very tiny. Come on. Ta da! You see? <laughs> okay, so uh, now let's uh, comment this uh, thing out. I put it a comment. Let's make it, uh, I don't know, green. 
let's make it in a, let's put it in order uh build all program the thing and bring to McLaren from Vidal and voila it's green and uh, let's comment this out let's make it blue now and uh, build the thing uh, program the target to McLaren to Vidal link and now should be blue yes Ta it's blue uh, these are more trickier because my, uh, these guys here are more trickier because uh, and also this one as well the combinations is not really the best thing the the, the chip that I have well the chip the, the RGB LED is cheap and uh, yeah uh, this is a cyan uh, okay let's do that and uh, or okay let's make it in order as before this will be a yellowish green it's not perfectly green it's a bit of yellow it should be yellow <laughs> but is uh, also uh, wait and that now like that I'm bringing the Vicleretto one there and uh, yeah it's way too green <laughs> but trust me it's a bit more yellowish I'm not sure uh, the camera how will catch everything and uh, make it cyan and uh, do the thing again oops <laughs> I was not filming that and uh, now it should be cyan you see it's not as blue as before this is a very nice cyan of this particular led I really like uh, the cyan uh, one second to bring the music okay and let's uh, move forward uh, pink uh, also the pink is good enough I mean, uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, make the thing and program it and bring the target to McLaren to do And yep, uh, there are two LEDs. Uh, this camera cannot uh, see anything there, but m with my eye, with my naked eye, I can see it's. Uh, yeah, it's uh, there are two LEDs open there one blue and one pinkish <laughs> it's not red completely red is more pink and it's kind of violet uh, color there and this should be only white but is a bit uh, that blue um, that blue uh, lead that is in, inside this RGB package is uh, is a bit too strong probably that's why it's creating this cyan look as you've seen it in the start of the video and uh, let's uh, make it break it and burn it and macular it over there and now uh it's not it's still cyan ish uh, but it's more white cyan ish. <laughs> I hope you you believe me. So this is the test, the actual test of the um, of the uh, of this chip and of this thing, which I build it directly there <laughs> with all those fine extra fine wires. And um, uh, it worked from from first try, which I was super amazed. But and amazed and happy, and I am very proud and happy. But uh, I did checked and rechecked everything like three or four times. Every connection I I check it for uh, what is called uh, for shorts. 
for sh sh short circuits between the pins, between the tracks, uh, between all those tracks. Ah, it wasn't fun, but I want to be sh completely sure because it was, in some cases, less than a millimeter uh, gap between the connections of those wires that I soldered there. And it's very, very close. <laughs> everything is too close. It's, it's crazy. I checked everything like a um, couple of times. I'm not sure if only three times. I, I believe more than three times I check everything. Every connection, if it's shorting out. And uh, yes, I am very, very proud that it's working. <laughs> and next code that I want to implement, and it will be the, uh, the final code, it will um, cycle through each color that I presented here manually. So every time I will press the button, it will jump to the next color and then uh, revert back to the beginning pretty much and cycling again everything so right now is only one color but uh, next time we'll cycle through each color okay this is it this is it with the code this is it with the test with the program and with the device that I made which I'm very proud <laughs> it worked from uh, from from one shot all right all right yeah uh, let's I, I will let you with uh, with the schematic. Uh, okay, bye bye, for now, for now.